Welcome to the Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast with your host, the Man in Black, a.k.a. Team Ibliavs. Each week we're here talking about the wrestling headlines and covering everything from Impact Wrestling to SmackDown. Join us each Tuesday via MayhemNews.com and the Mayhem News Live YouTube channel. You can subscribe to both and keep up with wrestling news and our show. Ah, this is the Man in Black, a.k.a. Team of Lives, and this is Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast for 2-4-2014. Real small show. Uh, most of the news outlets, as far as uh, wrestling stuff, is kind of talking about CM Punk and leaving the WWE, and I just don't feel like beating a dead horse. You know, the guy wants to leave, guy's going to leave. If it's a swerve, you know, uh, I actually want to be surprised, so we will move on. Uh, Nancy Argentino, a former girlfriend of Jimmy Superfly Snooker's murder case, has been reopened by the Pennsylvania Grand Jury. Uh, the reason is said to be that the autopsy and several police interviews as well were released and that there was new evidence or, I guess, something. There was enough that they wanted to look at, so, you know, we'll, we'll be keeping an eye on that. Uh, Bully Ray actually challenged CM Punk to come to TNA and face him. He did this via Twitter. Um, there was a lot of questions. The big question this week is, will Goldust versus Cody take place at WrestleMania 30? Uh, Goldust and Cody said the match isn't a goal anymore, uh, pretty much. They're kind of writing it off, you know, saying that um, they don't really want it anymore. But uh, there are some... Uh, interesting things going on um i know that some people said that the match was actually planned when they bought gold dust back but they were so popular as a tag team that it was changed but we shall see um whether it comes does or not you know we'll just have to see um they say that um if you know they're saying that a split could come as early as elimination chamber you know, and then that's when the WrestleMania 30 match will take place. We'll just have to see. Um, that was pretty much all the wrestling headlines for the last week, except that, you know, was stuff that has already been mentioned or pertained to the CM Punk WWE thing. And, you know, I'm a fan. I just think if he's going to leave, I wish he would have kind of told the truth, you know, but anyway. Impact Wrestling. Okay, I kind of gave Rockstar Spud a bad, you know, he kind of left a bad taste in my mouth when he first, you know, became this chief of staff. Uh, however, his reaction with the Wolves on this last show changed my, 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 my mind. Right now, Spud's character in the, in, with this interaction with the Wolves is actually more believable than Magnus's. Um, the wolf spud segment was awesome. Uh, the thing with the little flashlight, uh, you know, that's, I think you made a mistake WWE by not signing the wolves. I think you did. That's another mistake there, Triple H. Anyway, um, but, uh, we had the first match. Basically, um, the show starts off Magnus and EC3 you know, popping off and saying, you know, they, they've retired. Sting got rid of him from TNA and, you know, basically Joe and, uh, angle come out pretty much there that sets up a number one contender match, you know, with the tag title, whoever pins one of the, uh, mag between Magnus and EC three, uh, becomes the number one contender for the world, the title. So, all right, that sets it up for later. Uh, Rain and Madison Rain and Velvet Sky reunite the beautiful people reunion. Have a little reunion, you know, and uh, actually win their match against Kel, Gail Kim and Topa. Uh, Storm and Gunner make peace and then defeat Bad Influence. Um, I kind of like Gunner and, and Storm together as a tag team. It just kind of makes sense. Uh, Broman defeats Abyss. And Eric Young, uh, Young kind of finds out that, uh, why they call Abyss the monster. Um, and Abyss, he challenges Abyss to a monster's ball match next week. And basically Abyss's last words was, uh, I'm going to hurt you. So, 
Uh, Samoan Joe and Angle defeat Magnus and Ethan Carter with Joe getting the pin, becoming the number one contender. And basically, Joe tells Magnus that Joe is going to hurt him. Uh, I kind of like the fact that they made Joe Samoa Joe a monster again, a beast. I, I think that's um, what he needs to do is go over to WWE and show Lesnar just how to be one. Anyway, <clears throat> Uh, MVP is revealed as TNA's new investor. Um, it's kind of, kind of up in the air. What's going to come of there? You know, uh, there was a lot of people saying that this investor, um, angle was a kind of a, a stick at Jeff Jared, you know, uh, Jeff Jared still actually remains a, uh, investor, even a small investor in TNA. Um, but we're going to move on to SmackDown. Uh, the Shields basically on SmackDown were butting heads to start off the show. Uh, it ended up being Seth Robbins actually having to stop Reigns and Ambrose from coming to blows. Uh, the Shield stands off, uh, but Triple H telling him that they're not asking. They're telling him that they're going to have a match against the Wyatts. Um, Cesaro qualifies for the Elimination Chamber. Um, and that is because... CM Punk is no longer here. Um, primetime players lose the real American. Titus Young goes heel on Darren Young. Titus Young. Titus O'Neill goes heel on Darren Young, breaking up the primetime players. I kind of figured that was coming pretty soon. Uh, since they beefed up the tag champion, you know, the tags, you know, they're going to break them up into separates now. Um, Christian qualifies for the Elimination Chamber. Um, Kofi defeats Sandow on an actual decent match. Uh, Sandow and Kofi put on a pretty good show for the match. Um, let's see. Cody and Goldust lose to the uh, New Age Outlaws, uh, in a great cage match. Cody had a moon song, moon saw off the top of, uh, the cage, which he missed and ended up basically. So, you know, and then the shield face, Seamus, Mysterio and Brian, uh, which they actually defeated, uh, in an actually clean match, which, you know, I guess is happens on occasion. Um, so and raw, uh, basically opens up with Orton's I'm better than you speech. The same one he gives almost every week and uh, well, puts everybody to sleep. Triple H and Stephanie say, come out and pretty much tell Dan, uh, tell him that if, uh, Daniel Bryan, beats Orton in a match, uh, they may actually back him for the face of the WWE. Wow. I guess maybe they do listen to the fans. Uh, the shield defeats Mysterio, Langston and Kofi, uh, with Ambrose stealing the pin from Reigns. It was a little friction there just a little bit. Uh, Christian defeats Swagger, New Age Outlaws defeat the Brotherhood. Um, uh, Titus O'Neil defends Zack Ryder, uh, develop, defeat Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder also introduced a new, uh, look. Uh, the hair's been trimmed a little bit. He's got a new outfit. So, you know, hey, Zack Ryder's still making a good, uh, a good appearances. And, uh, you know, maybe he's whatever he did that made him not appear on Raw anymore. Maybe it, you know. Uh, Seamus defeats Axel. And the Wyatts uh, defeat, uh, let's see, Ziggler, R-Truth, and Xavier Woods. Daniel, Fryan, Daniel Bryan actually defeats Orton. Uh, Orton and Kane pretty much beat down Daniel Bryan, so I have a feeling that Kane's going to get a little ramifications for that. Um, I just wish that, that, ooh, that people would actually you know, let this CM Punk thing go. Uh, there were fans that were actually removed. Uh, from what I understand, there was like 40 fans that were ejected for hollering CM Punk. Really, WWE? I mean, what did you expect? I mean, the fans don't forget that CM Punk is, is who they're cheering for. They don't really care what happened between you and CM Punk. All they care about is CM Punk's not there. So, I mean... So what? You can hear it in the background. I mean, it's not like they're going to forget about him just because you don't mention him or, you know, 
But I, I wish they would just let it go. The media and everybody is keep talking about it. And, you know, I've seen several sites that have stooped so low to actually say, oh, new information on CM Punk and WWE. And when you go to the web page, it's the same crap they've been talking about for two weeks. Nothing new. You know, do we think CM Punk's going to show up on TNA TV? No, he's not. Um, I have a feeling, and I don't know, I really know if he'd show up on Ring of Honor the way he left. So, I, I don't know. Um, I just don't think Punk would be one to go to TNA. Um, uh, Punk is definitely not a rat, and most rats are jumping off a sinking ship. A uh, lot of big talk about Sting. I uh, was thinking about well, some of the things that they may do with him that during you know all this what they're going to do when if he does come to wwe people have been talking about um uh, him being a general manager uh to start off because they're not going to throw him in the deep end uh his arrival in wwe oh, yeah. would actually be you know just basically blotted out if he were to face the undertaker the first you know just right at wrestlemania so i have a feeling they'll bring him in uh, they'll use him for the WWE Network, yeah. kind of ease him into some stuff. Everybody says they didn't like the 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 thing with with him as general manager on TNA. Him as the Joker character type Sting, uh, that was some funny shit. Uh, you know, it really was. It was some funny shit, and I, I just don't understand why people think that they don't like that, but. You know, and as I said, we've got a short show today uh, because there was a little bit to talk about. The shows were not really that interesting. So, you know, we're going to get back into some stuff. I've got some stuff that I'm waiting on to hear about, some stories that I did not talk about because, to me, they were just not solid enough for me to talk about. Um, always look, um, one of the sponsors for my webpage, uh, who w was sponsoring the show, but she still spon they still sponsor the the web page Zach Pack Promotions, you can still check them out. They're a great charity uh, event. And um, one of the people that are helping us out who gave us our theme song, New Blood, is Throttle. Always buy their stuff on Amazon, you know, on iTunes. Um, they have a new album out. It's called Razor Wire Finish Line. You can buy those at both places. Uh, if you happen to go to one of the shows, you can actually buy a CD right now. They're not selling CDs online. But they are selling them digitally. Um, as always, I want to give a shout out to uh, Blast 52, which is a, uh Irish band that me and my wife listen to a lot. Great, great band, great people. You can follow Stephanie at, at Blast52Drummer. Or you can follow bands and the, the band's actual Twitter and her, um, the lead singer. You know, you can follow him at, at Blast 52 um, I also want to give a shout out to Girls with Big Guns Clan, a clan on uh, Call of Duty and uh, PS3 and Xbox Live. Uh, just kind of give them a holler, you know, follow them on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and I appreciate everybody who listens to the show. I'm really sorry that it was really short this week. Uh, kind of in a kind of in a process we're going on going through this month. Um, you know, the studios are going to be be moving, going to be doing some other things, and. Uh, so uh, there really wasn't much to talk about this week. So uh, I got some stuff I'm hoping to be able to talk about next week. And it's going to be a more interesting show. So I appreciate everybody who listens. This has been The Man in Black, a.k.a. T. Mib Lives. And you can follow us on, follow me at, at T. Mib Lives. That's T-M-I-B-L-I-V-E-S. Or follow the show at Mayhem News Live or Mayhem News um, on Twitter. You can also check us out on mayhem-news.com. And uh, also look at us. On our YouTube, just search Mayhem News, all one word, all caps caps on the first letter of each word, and uh, you'll find us. Have a nice day. Welcome to the Mayhem News Live Wrestling Broadcast with your host, the man in black, a.k.a. T. Miblius. Each week we're here talking about the wrestling headlines and covering everything from Impact Wrestling to SmackDown. Join us each Tuesday via MayhemNews.com and the Mayhem News Live YouTube channel. You can subscribe to both 
and keep up with wrestling news and our show.